Hello, welcome back to T3 on today's show. We have something very special and nice. It's a MK730 keyboards and it's got 10 keyless and RGBs and all the things. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Alrighty, as I said, we have the MK730 10 keyless tournament edition keyboard. You'll see there are two keyboards here. This is obviously not the MK730. This is a quick fire rapid that I've brought in for a little show and tell to kind of show how their design philosophy has changed and I think for the better in a lot of cases. So let us start with the similarities. Now the quick fire rapid has a really cool cable channeling system and you can remove the actual USB cable from the device as you see there and then you can channel it out through any end of the keyboard. Now they used a micro USB which even at the time wasn't the best one to be used, actually a mini USB, I like a micro would have been good, that's what I would have hoped they had used on this keyboard. So you can't replace this cable these days, well you can but with great difficulty. On the newer one they've got the exact same kind of channeling setup. And there's audio is still live on the laptop that this is connected to, obviously. And <laughs> they've used a USB Type C on the connector over here. So if your cable does break or goes missing, for instance, you will be able to replace it, which I think is quite a nice little feature. They've changed, obviously, how it comes out here on the end. It goes out in the corners instead of straight across, which is a small change, but basically the same kind of setup there. But that's where the similarities pretty much start and end though. They've gone for a flat deck, which is much easier for removing keys and for cleaning purposes. And it does lighten up the keyboard because there's less material. It can also help them with their production costs to keep their costs down having a flat deck versus having all of the keys in a shroud. And as you can see with how dirty this keyboard is, we won't mention who it belongs to, but as you can see, it can get very, very dirty and very, very difficult to get in there and clean, whereas this doesn't have that issue. Now, also a major change is obviously the backlighting. This basically didn't have it. On the Quickfire Pro that I had, it did have a, a section over here and some of the keys on the side as well, but not a full backlit. That only came out a little while later and it was only in red, so you couldn't get it in all the RGB goodness. Speaking of RGB goodness, the software for the MK730 is phenomenal. You only download the software for your device. So it's a six meg base program that it then loads the programming for each device on top of, which is absolutely fantastic. So you're not installing software that you're never gonna use, which is quite nice. Notably as well is the palm rest. As I take it away, you'll notice there is a really nice little light bar that they've put in the bottom of the keyboard, but the wrist rest itself is quite nicely done. It's in a kind of pleathery kind of material. It's quite matte in feel. It does pick up sweaty uh, marks and oil, oil from the skin. You can see over here, there's a little bit of uh, oil from the usage. I've been using this now for about three and a half weeks though. So it has been used quite extensively and it's still pretty clean. Um, the key caps themselves do stay quite clean. So that is quite nice. And something I noticed immediately when I started using it was they've gone back to cherry keys. There is a distinct feel of a cherry MX Cherry Red that they've gone with in these. And we had gator and switches in their CK550 before, which also not bad very very bright I think they were a little bit brighter than these but just not as nice on the look and feel overall the cherries I think was a was a good move to go back to those so all in all I must say quite a quite a severe number of improvements but also a, an increase in price the older keyboards would set you back about 900 to a thousand rand this one is going to be a thousand eight hundred rand but I do think it's worth it all things considered with the MK730, if you do like a 10 keyless to get into the eSports intimacy position with your monitor right in front of your face like that, this is going to be absolutely fantastic for that. I LAN a lot for instance, I absolutely love it for that because it's not a full length keyboard and very slim, especially when I pop in the standoffs, you can see how slim the keyboard actually is. So popping this in a backpack, even with its wrist rest, is incredibly easy. So I must say, I oh, and I love a, a, a tournament edition keyboard, 
These are absolutely fantastic are the MK730s. And that's all we have for you on this review. Please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. We will be doing the new Mirage ML240P in the near future. I hope to have that out for you guys in the following week because that is looking like a really nice cooler. It's got all of their nice new fans. But we'll get to that on another day. For now, I'm Rachle. Goodbye. Have a good evening. Hope to see you on the flip side. Cheers, homie. What up? Chip, chip, chip. Error. Fade to black.